we have experienced delayed opening of the voting process. We have immediately replaced the returning officers in these three constituencies and deployed commissioners to ensure efficient management of these locations. We wish to assure you all that for the polling stations that opened late, we will compensate the time by extending the voting period by the same amount of hours that were lost before opening. And this is important that we shall extend the time of voting for the same amount of hours that were lost before opening. We are aware of reports that in some cases, the identification took longer than expected, while some officers had challenges switching on the KIMS kits. Our clerks have been instructed to use alphanumeric identification whereby the key in the voter ID card into the key in the voter ID card into the IBC platform to confirm registration. Remember that voters must ensure that the clerks have validated their details before ballots are handed out. We would like to reassure you that our officers have been deployed to resolve the technical issues which were experienced in some few areas in the country. As, uh, areas like Wajia, Elders, Isholo, Tadab, Borabu, and Fafi experienced some bit of technical hitches, but our ICT team is on the ground, and we have been informed that voting is going on smoothly. We also want to urge party agents to work with the presiding officers to address specific issues that may arise relating to polling station management. The returning officers are authorized and well equipped to address all the issues affecting the polling stations. We would like to take this opportunity to urge all Kenyans to ex exercise calm and patience as we work towards providing a free, fair, and credible election. <clears throat> the success process also requires your cooperation. We thank all Kenyans from corporate, for cooperating with our officers on the ground and for not making their work difficult. We also ask you to please use the IBC dedicated lines for any questions or concerns. We have dedicated the following hotlines for any voter that has questions or is facing challenges at the polling station. You may call toll-free lines 1527-1537 1538 and 1539 to raise any concerns with our IBC officers. Please note that these numbers are free of charge from any network. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, we urge you to be patient and calm as the results start streaming in later in the day. We acknowledge the fact that you want to know if the person you voted for is the winner. However, we would urge you to restrain from speculation and await the final result to be announced. Stay tuned to your news channels as well as we will be sharing with you regular updates throughout the day. Thank you very much. We shall be having our further updates. I think our schedule has been provided. Yes. My name is Sam Gituku from Citizen TV. And first, you had said that you'll be receiving reports every three hours uh, after the voting begins to know how, how the turnout is. Yes, you had indicated that you'll be receiving reports every three hours to show how the voter turnout is. What is the case in, uh, the, the, so far, as of nine o'clock, how many people had turned out at the various polling stations? And uh, when you're saying that uh, some polling stations were late to open, uh, which one was the last to open and at, at what time? Or rather, you may indicate, uh, have all the polling stations opened? Yes, we intended to issue regular updates right from uh, nine in the morning. But when we woke up, we found there were a few challenges, especially in Nairobi. And uh, I and the commissioners went round actually to sort out some of the problems. And that's why the update has delayed. 
I just mentioned uh, Nairobi especially, uh, Mbakasi East, Kasarani and Westland. That's where there were some, some delays, but that has now been sorted out and voting is ongoing. And I also mentioned areas like uh, Wajia, Elders, Isholo, Dadab, Borabu in Nyamira, and Fafi. There was technological challenges. ICT teams moved in, and uh, they have soon, I mean, they have restored the service, and voting is now ongoing. So going forward, we are going to give you updates every three hours now that we assist of the operations on the ground. So uh, thank you. We shall be here in another three hours' time or less. Uh, thank you. Remember to pick copies of the statement from the media center. We are also going to post the same on the website.